Hello, today we'll be going over lead code number 1221, which is split a uh, string and bound strings. So in this problem statement, you're given a string S with R's and L's, and what you want to do is that you want to split it into bound strings. A string is balanced if, for example here, the number of R's on one side is equal to the number of L's. This is how we know if a string is balanced or not. So in this case, we have one bound string, second bound string here, these are two R's and two L's, third bound string here, and a fourth bound string here. So the answer should be four, and this is what we want to print out. So let's go back to this given string. In this case, a very simple method which we can use is that we can go through the array. We can have two counters, an R counter, which is equal to zero, and an L counter, which is also equal to zero. Each time we come across an R, we add one to R counter. Each time we come across an L, we add one to L counter. So given our, our array, first we go to the this, first R. So then R counter, instead of being zero, equals one now. Then we go to this L. L counter, instead of becoming zero, becomes one. Next, we go to R counter. Here, R counter becomes a two. So then here we have, we can write this down as one, one, two, R counter here, becomes a three, L counter here, becomes a two. I can actually underline this to make it easier to see here. Come here, L counter becomes a three. Come over here, R counter becomes a four, four, five, and five. So this is a very simple problem. So after we have done all of this, we can see that where we want to split the counter here, we want to split the array in these four sections. If we look at where we're splitting them after counting it, we can see that both R counter and L counter are equal to each other at the end. So here R counter becomes a three, L counter is a three. Here R and L counter are both equal to one. Here both equal to four and here both equal to five. So we can write that in the for loop, we're gonna keep counting R and L. Once R is equal to L, then we know that that is one string which we can create, one bound string, and then we can have a counter, just an overall counter, and we can add one to it each time. So this is how we solve our problem. So now let's go ha over how we can encode this solution. So here, remember we have our L counter equal to zero, R counter equal to zero, and counter equal to zero. These are our three counters. Now we just go through the array. Here, every time we find an R, we want to increment R counter by one. If not, if it's an L, we want to increase L counter. After here, we want to check if it is a valid string where both sides are balanced. By doing this, we check if R counter is equal to L counter. And if so, then we write counter plus plus. And then at the end, we can just return counter. Submit this and it is accepted.